Good morning. Uh, today I want to talk about the constant search for affirmations that I find I'm looking for on a regular basis. Um, that's been a big part of that pendulum swing that I regularly deal with. So, um, at the start of all this, I would feel horrible. The anxiety would be working on me. I would, <clears throat> I would find, um, either an article or a conversation that I had, which would take me from feeling horrible and help me feel so much better. And what I found, what I find is in dealing with this, over time, those affirmations, they wouldn't last as long. The feel good wouldn't last as long. So the pendulum swing would become shorter. So I would, I would feel horrible. I'd receive some type of affirmation that I was okay. The pendulum would swing to the other side, the other side of the emotional spectrum. I'd feel amazing. I'd feel great, like I was high on something. And then um, slowly would creep back to feeling bad. There was a, there was a slower progression uh, into that darkness. But the over time, it's just it, the, the, the pendulum swing was faster. I feel horrible. I'd receive some type of affirmation and it would always have to be something better, grander. Um, I was feeling worse. And then I would need something. And then to the point to where there really wasn't a pendulum swing, I would feel horrible and good at the same time. And that's kind of where, where I'm at now. I mean, the last time I tested negative, um, which should have, you know, which is the last time I, I test, right? The last time the doctor said no further testing is necessary. So after receiving that affirmation, I had about a good three days. Um, but those three days were still, there was still some negative feelings in there because I was, I'm suffering symptoms. I was a byproduct of my anxiety. And that would make, that made me doubt it. Like, did the technician actually get the test right? Did she know what she was doing? I mean, I took a photo of the test strip. I was looking at the control. I was affirming that, yeah, there was no other lines in there. You know, all of that. So, um, and then I'd say by a week later, I was already back into my feeling the way I feel. Like looking for outside affirmation, researching information online, and doing, doing all that. Which, you know, really works on the phobia. So... Since then, whenever I receive an affirmation that I'm okay, it's like, still tinged by the, the darker, the fear. So that's, that's the situation I've been working on. You know, yesterday I wasn't feeling very well because of the, the pressure, realizing that's definitely gonna be a byproduct of some uh, of allergies that I'm dealing with. Um, I've been really fortunate this year. I maybe haven't noticed much of the allergies because my anxiety has been running so high, which means, um, you know, when you have chronic anxiety, you know, persistent anxiety, your body's in a constant state of fight or flight, which actually boosts your immune system for a while um, before it starts to work the other way, where you start having immune deficiencies because your body's been working so hard. Um, so that's kind of what I, what I've noticed is that I'm dealing with more of my allergies right now. And I was feeling better by yesterday afternoon. And I spent my, mind you, most of yesterday afternoon on another, another side of town. So I think that plays a part in it as well. Um, and I had a really good night. Um, but as I normally do, whenever I start feeling better, I start pushing myself probably harder than I should. I stayed up later than I should have. And uh, I'm not suffering for it this morning, thank goodness. Um, but um, I have to be careful with that. 
I do have a little more motivation to get things done. Whether or not I actually get them done today, I don't know. Um, I don't know if that'll happen, but I do feel... I mean, the fact that I felt like, oh, I can work on this project today is a big thing already. Because um, for most of yesterday, I didn't want to, do, want to do anything but just lay in bed. Um, so it's, it's kind of like balancing a ball. You know, if I start feeling a little better, I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to tip that scale at all. I just want to have that normal feeling and have that last as long as it can. So I try not to do anything to mess with it, I guess. Um, but uh, it's such a delicate balance. That's it for today. Uh, for those of you that are suffering out there, um, just key points, you're not alone. Um, don't stop working towards being better and feeling better and you know the facts are what they are especially if it's health related um, I mean it doesn't it doesn't negate the feelings of the symptoms that you create for yourself you know verify that it is what it is you know that is whether or not it's anxiety or some other condition um, so have a great day.